Okay, sorry, I'm a bit late. I was trying to eat before I started streaming because <laughs> there's always an issue with me um, getting hungry in the middle of my stream, but I, I cut it a bit too close. <laughs> okay. Okay, uh, sorry, I just had to fiddle with some stuff in the background there. Um, and as, as usual, let me know if the sound is off or anything because I, I can't tell at all. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Um, I updated the model. <laughs> yeah, okay. It's more modern looking now, yeah. <laughs> Okay, okay. <laughs> We're finally learning how streaming machines are so pretty. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, beauty is subjective, but yes. <laughs> uh -uh. So today I just wanted to go over character design and okay audio seems okay 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 great and also like yeah chat and you know if anybody has any questions go ahead and ask yada yada uh okay okay so the the main character, like, asset or feature of Shinsa that I tend to go, that you recognize her by, is the hair poof. <laughs> like, when I sketch her in, like, the drafts and stuff, the way I identify her is this hair poof thing in the cheeky. <laughs> her hair is, like, okay. Well, I guess we can start with the hair. I guess it's it's the most identifying, identifying feature. <laughs> mm, mm. Cause I think what inspired it was like you know, cause I'm a huge weeb. You know how a lot of anime girls have like this the antenna hairstyle where they have like this this floof up there for no reason whatsoever, right? But I also like wanted her to have um, the straight cut bangs. So what I did was I just combined the two <laughs> and I also, uh, cause I had to make room for, hello ghost, hello, hello. But I also wanted like an asymmetrical hairstyle. So Jason's hairstyle is basically a combination of me wanting everything at once in one character. <laughs> I wanted straight bangs, I wanted a hair floof. I wanted an asymmetrical hairstyle with like something tucked behind the back and I really wanted and I wanted <laughs> her to have like hair going down one side one shoulder right so her character design is just me <laughs> she said equals hair poof confirmed yes yes that's her identifying feature as long as you you draw the hair poof it, it's her <laughs> you don't need anything else mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> so that was the inspiration for her hair. I just wanted all these features on one character. <laughs> um, and with her facial features, her, she says every character has like very, very subtle ways in which their eye shapes differ. <laughs> Uh, well, for Shinsa, what I wanted was, like, I really wanted the, um, upturned corners. Like, for her eye shape, the main charm point is this upturned corner. This thing, right here. This gives it, it gives it a little, like, cat eye-like shape. The front is rounded, but the end, like, goes upwards a lot. She has like the Asian double eyelid where it's like connected at the front. Hi, Doo Derpu. Hello, hello. <laughs> connected at the front, but it like tapers off 
upwards at the end like that and her and like the bottom eyelashes you'll find that all of my i tend to draw all of my characters with like bottom eyelashes like at the end like that <laughs> and with Chase's case i like draw an extra line to just connect it with the upturned tapered end this doesn't really make any sense as a as like an eye shape but i did it this way because i wanted it <laughs> So yeah, there's like an extra line below her lashes that connects to the end of her eyes. Makes it look, I don't know, bigger or something, I don't know. <laughs> and she's this case, like, uh, I think she's one of the only characters that has a black pupil. Uh, you'll find that a lot of my characters, I give them white pupils. <laughs> she's so she says has like smaller black pupil. It's pretty, it's a pretty small pupil. Mm, and if you zoom in enough, then like little striations that's basically how her eye goes and her eyebrows are like relatively straight okay they taper off at the beginning at the front and at the end so they're thicker in the middle and at the end they taper downwards like that so they're relatively straight but tapers downwards that kind of eyebrows is <laughs> So a lot of like the the differences in my character's facial features are like micro, micro, <laughs> very very tiny differences, <laughs> like that. Mm. And you know I'm not even gonna bother with the other eye. We don't care. We don't care. <laughs> this is just this is just a deep dive into character design. And yeah, I guess we can also treat this as a Q and A if you. Um, why does she have black pupils? It, it's just a, a design feature. So, when I designed Shinsa and Astler, the goal in mind was to keep them opposite. Like, opposite color scheme, opposite design, um, and all that. Which is why Shinsa's hair is parted towards the... Is this called the left part or a right part? This is a... This is a... Left? It's left from my point of view, but right from her point of view. Well, anyway, Sheen's hair is parted to one side, and Ashley's hair is parted to, parted to the other side. <laughs> and I had, like, the black and white hair, and, like, the red and blue eyes thing, and, like, their pupils are also opposite colors. Yeah, because their, their designs are designed to play off of each other, while her hair, like, is, like, wavy and flowy, and I made Ashley really spiky. Yeah. <laughs> um... Mm -mm. <laughs> this doesn't make sense as an eye shape. Yeah, because I want... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's uh, it's what artists do. Like, you know how... For example, like, when people do their eyelashes like this, that makes no sense, but it looks good. So artists have the right to do that. <laughs> it doesn't always have to make sense, right? <laughs> and Jesus has, like... Relatively normal nose. Okay, so side profiles are another thing. <laughs> it's like side profile is usually where they vary by like nose type. Which she said it's like a relatively like no, medium nose bridge and like rounded nose tip. <laughs> when I draw her side profile, yeah, it's 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 that. <laughs> This is probably like a bit extreme in terms of character design, but <laughs> like her lips are like a bit more on the pouty side. Like I try to draw them a bit, a bit plumper, like that, in terms of side profile. It's hard to tell until you have something to compare it to. <laughs> And of course, she has fangs in her mouth, so. I tend, they tend to differ in size depending on like how menacing I want her to look. <laughs> this is not like a very set in stone, but yeah. On the top and on the bottom. Uh, the truth is like, and this is also another uh, liberty that people take when drawing fangs, because the truth, like fangs, it's usually like canine teeth, right? Canine teeth are like located here. But I, I draw her fans here at the at, 
further at the end because I think it looks better that way. <laughs> and sometimes like when you zoom in, I'll like, I'll give her a double set of fangs. I'll have like smaller and larger. It really, really de depends on just like how, how detailed I want to go. So <laughs> Yeah, at least at least two at least two sets of fangs. Bottom teeth too. Yeah. <laughs> Hi Chimkin. Hello, welcome. Yeah, feel free to leave whenever you need to. Uh, st I struggle with round nose tips for some reason. The majority of how I draw are usually pointy. Yeah, it's kind of it's easy to like. I, I get it too because <laughs> you know I grew up watching a lot of anime and all, all the noses are round. <laughs> I mean, I mean, all the noses are pointy and sharp, right? And sharp noses look good, so it, it's easy. Mm -hmm. Okay, where was I? Oh, yeah, yeah. Ah. And this is a this is like a design feature that I usually don't even put on her. Like she tends to have a bit bit chubbier cheeks <laughs> she's supposed to in the initial character design I, I had her with chubbier cheeks like 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 that but I, I, <laughs> I it's too much of a hassle to draw <laughs> it's too much of a hassle and it doesn't look good from every angle and all that stuff and yeah so I, I tend to like not do it <laughs> mm. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's that's Shinsa. Uh, in terms of body shape, she is 169 centimeters tall, so she's probably one of the tallest female characters in Blue Matter. <laughs> I know it's not 169 isn't that tall, but for me, to me, it's tall. <laughs> to me, it's tall. Okay, <laughs> I think it's tall. I, I, I am, it's much, it's about 10, it's 10 centimeters taller than I am, so I, I, I believe 169 is tall. <laughs> my, my characters might be a bit on the short side, <laughs> because I, I created them relative to myself. I just don't draw noses. I, I tried, now I draw landscapes. <laughs> well, you know, there are some mountains out there that are shaped like noses. You can just draw a mountain that's shaped like a nose, and there you go, it's a nose. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, and she says, by well, type, yeah, she's. She's pretty, she's pretty curvy. I, I'm not, not gonna lie, not gonna lie. <laughs> it's, I, I just, I just wanted to, I just wanted to draw like a really a, a glamorous main character. <laughs> I, I, she's my character, I'll do what I want. So. <laughs> she, yeah, she tends to have like a pretty, pretty, uh, Curvy body type, because uh, because I because I felt like it. Yeah, good. Well, you know, you know, well, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> well, you know, you know, it's just how it is. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Thick. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. You, should, you can't really tell at like the beginning of the webtoon because of the way I, I draw her because it gave her like this I bandaged her chest up and all that right but like it, yeah <laughs> yeah I, 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 I felt like it so I did <laughs> One of my own sees height being t yeah. None of my characters are gonna be even close to two hundred and ten centimeters. <laughs> to me, like two hundred centimeters is like unthinkable height. Yo, yo. <laughs> Their 
Rip who is 140, 149 centimeters. <laughs> 149 is okay. That's that's cute. That's cute. <laughs> you know, being short isn't bad. I heard short people have like longer lifespans and all that. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Short shorter people have longer lifespans. So technically, technically, statistically, you know, we're we're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let's else do Asler. Asler. <laughs> Do this guy. So Astler, like the way I, I tend to differentiate him in my drafts is <laughs> his his halo, then his spiky halo, and then I do this for his hair. <laughs> and that's 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 how he looks like. That's the that's the Astler show. <laughs> no big strong face. Yeah, is any is anybody in the chat taller than 160? Well, actually, somebody was 5'6". That's pretty good. <laughs> if I, if I, I, have, I have no frame of reference to me. 5'6 is pretty good. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, any height beyond 6 feet just gives you more medical complications. But it is true that like taller people tend to get promoted more and earn more money because... Because I don't know, people are just intimidated by them. I guess <laughs> they look more competent. <laughs> Hello, Samantha. Hello. Now we're just getting to describing how to draw ass. <laughs> five eight. Oh, whole oh, five eight. Oh my God, we got a new record holder here. Five eight. <laughs> Your friend is 60, if your friend isn't in the chat, so they don't count. Get your friend into the chat and then maybe they'll count, but... <laughs> no, no, we're not counting that. <laughs> okay, okay, so Asler, Asler. Uh, he's got that typical sharp eyed look. His, the, the, the feature about his eyes is that they're sharp, right? They end like a normal cat eye, but then at the very end, you get this... This extra eyelash. Serafina has this too. Cause because yeah, they're related. But this extra eyelash at the end here. That's that's his eyes defining feature. <laughs> and then like the bottom lashes that I put on everybody. It's <laughs> and then Yeah, the white he has white pupils, yeah. One thing I I didn't I didn't uh, in the original version I don't think I gave him light in his eyes. <laughs> he doesn't have like the little gap here that indicates life. I mean light. <laughs> he just he just has the white pupils. I felt like that was that was enough. Yeah. Um, and Astler has like these double eyelids that conjoin in the middle, so they meet here around the middle of his eyes and like this goes over a bit so the front eyelid is overlapped by the back eyelid like that very very specific <laughs> yeah yeah but they join he, his eyelids join in the middle mm -hmm. <laughs> and then he has the hair this is around like uh, one third of the way through his, past his face. This is where his little, his hair, his hairline, I don't know what this is called. Like the little triangle thing, that, that's, it's, it starts here, like one third of the way through his face. <laughs> short gang, short gang, everybody's short, yeah, short gang. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Astor is like, I think his height varies. He's like anywhere between 168 to like, I don't know, 170-ish in the first season. Like, it's, he, he's, he's still, he's going through that like second growth spurt or something. <laughs> so his height's gonna vary. You can, he's around Jesus' height though. Like, it's not, not a big difference. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, hair, hair, hair. Uh, 
He's got like this one, this one floof that goes around the center of his face, and then there's a gap. There's a gap, and then there's the rest of the floof. Honestly, Asler's hair it still gives me trouble. I don't understand. I don't understand his hair much, <laughs> very well at all. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, yeah. This is how it goes. He's got like one floof, and then one floof here, another floof for the rest of his face. Mm -hmm. And his like his face is like pretty pretty doll like face. There you go. Yeah, and like this one this one goes down a bit further. Like a bit past his chin to his chin, I guess. So you have like once at least one strand that go curls inward. One strand that goes down, maybe a couple that stick outwards. Honestly, it's not it's not very set in stone. I tend to <laughs> tends to vary <laughs> depending on how I'm feeling. <laughs> there you go, something like that. And then like the rest of his hair is just like spike. Spike. However many spikes that look look right, usually about two. Well, however many those ones it looks it looks decent, whatever. <laughs> And then back here, I'm gonna erase this so you can see. Back here, um, his hair actually crisscrosses like that. It crisscrosses over itself, like it's his hairline is a bit messed up back there. <laughs> and then the rest of his hair is just like pulled back. It's pulled back by his halo. He has eight shards, eight shards in his halo. One big one that goes up here. One down here that serves as his serves as his sideburns, <laughs> and then second big one that goes b behind the first one, and then where these three conjoin, there's another a little little diamond shape there, and then there's four more behind that goes behind in like a zigzag pattern like that. You usually can't see it because like the bottom two are hidden by his ear, but there are four more, <laughs> and then I don't even know how to describe the back of his. <laughs> As there's hair, it makes me cry. It makes me cry too. Yeah, I, I don't understand. I don't understand what I was thinking when I did this hair. <laughs> he probably cuts it himself or something. That's why it looks so dumb. <laughs> he probably cuts his hair with his eyes closed in the dark. <laughs> that's how. That's how he cuts his hair. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm average height, 5'3", yeah, 5'3 is average height, That that's right, that's right. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, in the back of his hair, like, some parts will stick up, some parts will curl inward, like that, and then it tends to end, like, it goes a bit into his neck, it goes a bit into his neck, like that. Honestly, I haven't, I haven't, like, defined the back of his head very well, but usually it's like, some, some parts will stick out, some parts will curl in, you know, just like, whatever looks right. Yeah, if his hairline usually ends, like, mid-neck, mid-neck here, that's, 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 like, the length. There you go. <laughs> yeah. 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 Then he has, like... Slightly upwardly angled eyebrows that like and it's like almost a very similar length like, like width all the way through they're pretty thin. Yeah like that <laughs> and Then with Astler's nose uh, I do his side profile so it's, yeah, this one, this one, this time, it's a pointy nose. It's a pointy nose for all you pointy nose enthusiasts. <laughs> it's like, yeah, pointy nose. It's like a normal pointy nose, like maybe a little bit curved like that. His lips are like a bit thinner than Shin says. That kind of side profile, like that. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> Cause it's <laughs> Oh. I always
always give characters a bit of sideburn because without him it looks messy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He used to be, an e he's still in his emo phase, yeah. <laughs> no, no, I'm kidding. I... <laughs> Are there any characters with thick eyebrows? Um, the Soul Glorious have like a bit thicker eyebrows. Captain Wells has like relatively thick eyebrows. I, I can't, I never get them too thick. I don't know. I just, <laughs> I can't, I can't draw them too thick for some reason. <laughs> I feel like for me, like, the so Glory eyebrow, which is already pretty thick, it's definitely because I grew up with anime, where, like, all the eyebrows are just, like, one line. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pointy nose. <laughs> mm, okay, what else? Oh, yeah, yeah. And, like, relative his frame isn't really that big. He, he's still growing, he's still growing, okay. He's not like his shoulders are like pretty pretty normal with. <laughs> he's like pretty leaf light life. How how do how the hell how do you pronounce that? Anyway, yeah yeah. He has like pretty normal teenage boy body. You know, it's not nothing nothing. It's not not like a webtoon ML character. <laughs> I'm sorry. He doesn't have like the broad shoulders. I'm sorry. To be, I, it's definitely the anime influences. I don't know. I just, I just can't draw characters with super broad, broad shoulders. It doesn't look right to me. I, I can't do it. <laughs> yeah, just like a typical teenage boy body. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a bit of sniffing abilities for it. Hmm. Okay. Oh yeah, his his outfit is like. The asymmetrical collar in canvas it used to be symmetrical but then i decided to just just stick with one outfit i didn't want to make him change his uniform so often because i feel like he's not the fashionable type so i wanted to make it so to make Ryung more like obvious i tend to keep the other characters clothes more similar because they, they don't really care that much about fashion yeah, it's like one, it's like one sided collar that pops up and the other half is kind of just like, it's kind of like further back. It like drapes over his shoulder, like a little bit the top of his shoulder and like there's a little diamond piece that connects to the main button like that. Like a lot of the, it's part of the Armada uniform, like a lot of them have similar uniforms to this. It's one of the, their uniform options. They get to pick between like this cape and like the jacket. <laughs> and stuff like that. They, they, they can make like a few embellishments, like a few changes to the uniforms, but this is like the general Armada cape. Uh, he, he's got like the eight... eight starred... I mean, eight pointed star over there. With four big ones and like four small ones like that, yeah. <laughs> I draw people with broad shoulders because I have broad shoulders. Yeah, that makes that's true. I feel like a lot of a lot of my art style is just because I look like that, so they <laughs> they look like that. <laughs> As there's seventeen, yes, for now, for now, for now, because I wanted I wanted like Blue Matter to have a bit of like a coming of age theme to it. So with Astler's coming of age, I want him to grow up throughout the course of the story and become like. Less of a little brother figure. <laughs> I bet I can beat Astler up in a fist fight. Maybe, maybe. I mean, he does. He does do some physical training, but like not that much. <laughs> I was mistaken as my mom's sister in middle school, and then still growing. <laughs> I haven't grown since elementary school. Yeah, I peaked in like sixth grade. I, I pretty much have not changed at all since sixth grade. <laughs> no, no, no difference in my height <laughs> at all. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> yeah, I tend to broaden my perspective of my characters look like so it doesn't look the same. Like you should. That's a good thing, right? You're supposed to be able to differentiate your characters by silhouette and all that fun stuff. But the thing is. 
I keep designing characters with like simp brain. So <laughs> it's like I, I, I just want to make this character attractive. <laughs> and then that's just what this is what ends up happening. <laughs> And then they all just look like pretty anime characters instead. I'm trying my best. I'm trying my best. I will... I'm trying my best. I try to give them at least like one really obvious way to def define them. So I gave Shisa the hair poof. Master has a little sharp halo thingamajiggies. Yeah, that, that kind of stuff. But in the end, they're, they're, all, they're all pretty anime characters. <laughs> Time skip, maybe? Maybe? Maybe. <laughs> if, if he didn't have his magic stuff, I would strangle him to death. Uh, uh, what'd he ever do to you? <laughs> I feel like he's been a pretty inoffensive character so far. <laughs> he hasn't done anything that bad. <laughs> what is what is he what has he done to you? <laughs> okay, okay. Mm. He's gonna be- he's gonna age every year that the webtoon lasts. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Make someone absolutely ripped. I mean... I felt like Captain Wells was pretty ripped. Not that ripped, but like kind of ripped. I don't- I don't know. I feel like the, I want to maintain like a level of realism with the character's body types. I don't, I don't know. I just can't, I can't overdo it. <laughs> I don't want like One Piece girls or Jojo guys. <laughs> something, something achievable for the normal human being. <laughs> I mean, I, all, all the mom, my webtoon characters that I see are already, already bad enough for self-esteem, you know? <laughs> At least with Blue Matter, you'll have a reprieve. <laughs> Realistic body types. <laughs> Imagine Astler, but ninety. I don't think he would age much because uh, of the seal thing, but um, I if he looked ninety, he—I mean, he already has the white hair. <laughs> he already has the white hair. <laughs> so, <laughs> what's what's the big difference? <laughs> Is it possible to make old characters attractive? Sure. I mean, all, all the gilfs in the world. <laughs> they're, they're, they're sure there are some anime gilfs out there. Didn't they make like a Kentucky Fried Chicken dating sim with Colonel Sanders? I, I, I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure I remember KFC doing that. You know. <laughs> Woman with abs, yeah, maybe one day, maybe, maybe you'll see, maybe you'll see if you, if you just <laughs> hang in there, maybe. <laughs> okay, okay, now, mm, okay, what am I, oh yeah, now we're doing Vyung, Vyung, with his, the only character with monolids <laughs> so far. <laughs> he has like very upturned eyes. Like that, and they're a bit more narrow compared to the other characters' eyes. I, I, don't, I just really like, I actually really like this kind of eye type. Like, he has solid black eyes, so he still has the white pupil, but like, they're just colored in black. I know in the canvas version, I had them like this. I, had, like, I shaded them in like that, like with the striations, but I figured like for originals, maybe, maybe I should be a bit more professional and not make it look so sketchy. Feeling his eyes like that, and he always has like kick-ass eyeliner. Gotta gotta remember the eyeliner. <laughs> I try to I try to give him different eyeliner every time, but like there are some that times some that I default to every once in a while. And you'll feel you'll find that like he does have like a set of eyeliner colors he wears for certain occasions. Like casually, he he wears like lighter colors. If he wears red, usually that means there's going to be violence. <laughs> like the red or like or like magenta colors, usually it's like <laughs> it's for action. <laughs> he 
general rule of thumb. Not, not, not for sure though. <laughs> Uh, I love Bjorn, he's the easiest to draw. <laughs> he is, he's pretty easy to draw, isn't he? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Could Icarus be considered a MILF? Sure. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> she could be considered a mill. Yeah, Ryung has like a very he's I mean he's a he's not a he's a very typical character design to be honest. There, there are a lot of anime characters who look like this. Like the whole anime black haired anime grumpy anime guy with a sword. He's like <laughs> he's like one of like a thousand characters of this archetype. <laughs> well he doesn't really have a sword, but I guess that's the only thing that's missing. He doesn't have a sword and he, and he wears eyeliner. <laughs> but like the reason this archetype is so common is because it works it's a good archetype it's it's one of the best archetypes <laughs> every 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 single series should have at least one long-haired ponytailed dark-haired anime boy who's grumpy and maybe has a sword and maybe doesn't but every every series should have, should have at least one <laughs> Okay, yeah, where, where, where was I? Oh, yeah. And Vian's eyebrows are angled more than Aspen. He's, he's, like, always angry. Super angry. Mm. Angry, angry. <laughs> they anger, and they angle upwards like that. And the, they taper off towards the ends. Like, usually I'll just draw out one, one side like this, and the other side I, I start from the middle and go like that. Just to, like... That, that's the Vyung eyebrow shape. It starts off thicker, tapers off at the end. It's like third of the way through, I guess? Something like that. <laughs> and Vyung has three piercings. One here, one here, one here. So that's his, usually his earrings will usually be like some variation of like maybe two piercings here, one here. Sometimes he'll, he'll leave these two blank. But yeah, he has three piercings on each ear, so his earrings will tend to be some variation of using, utilizing those three piercings. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I didn't even describe his hair, I was, I was just drawing. <laughs> Who is the inspiration to give me one of my OC's eyeliner? I, mean, <laughs> I freaking love eyeliner on 2D boys, honestly, they, they look good in eyeliner. <laughs> Red eyeliner fetish. <laughs> I mean, I, I get it. I get it. Red eyeliner is looks really good. <laughs> so they made an OC out of their fetishes. Secretly, a lot of artists do this. A lot of maybe not like specifically fetishes, but just like attributes that they really like. <laughs> I mean, I do this. I like eyeliner, so I, I gave him eyeliner, and I, I like I like like the one-sided hair thing, so I gave that to Shinsa, and I. Well, he this guy exists too, <laughs> and I, I like the long-haired ponytails and guys, so I, I gave him one as well. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Anyways, his hair parts towards, like from our perspective. I'll just go from our perspective. Parts towards the right, so like yeah, his hair part is here. You know, have like one strand that like ends goes to the middle of his face, ends like a bit below his eyes, and the and then that like goes through here. So there's usually like one strand that sticks out a bit outward like that, and then the rest will go downward like that. General rule of thumb that I don't always follow <laughs> for this three young's like side bangs. Has like this this like woof 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 shape. Yeah, it has like a little bit of sticks out there. That's the general rule of thumb. His ponytail usually ties him pretty tight. Like, <laughs> and his hair is like a little bit layered. So if you'll have like some that stick out like that. I'll have like a little chicken butt or whatever, horse tail, I don't know. And then like the rest of his hair hanging out. It's a bit shaggy because his hair is, his hair is actually a bit layered like that. 
when you tie it into a ponytail. And his hair length does does vary depending <laughs> depending on his hairstyle. I tend to I don't I'm not very consistent with his hair length. It's usually anywhere between like like below his collarbone to like below his shoulder blades, something like that. <laughs> I think I think the excuse we came up with last time was that he wore hair extensions, so let's stick with that one, yeah. <laughs> Hot Topic. I remember the Hot Topic used to be like a goth goth store, but nowadays they sell like Funko Pops and meme shirt t-shirts or something. I don't know. I haven't been to a mall in the longest time since 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 COVID started. I haven't been to a mall in the longest time. <laughs> I love characters with yellow eyes, but I try not to add too much because they're so special to me. I did the opposite. I like characters with red and blue eyes, so I I decided to come up with an excuse to make give all of my characters red or blue eyes. <laughs> yeah, the aim is they have they have blue eyes. Yeah, so all of the characters have some variation of blue eyes because I wanted it to be that way. <laughs> yeah, red eyes. They even have red eyes because I like red eyes. Yeah, when I when I like features, I just try to give them on as many give them to as many characters as I can. Hot <laughs> topic got a branch out to make that cash. Yeah, I think like the emo the emo phase died. Not many people are really into that anymore. I mean, unfortunate. I thought it was. <laughs> I mean, I like kind of like kind of like the aesthetic. I feel like it's. It's better than some of the aesthetics these days. <laughs> I don't know. Hmm. I like like the clothing, like the, the black clothing and like the frilly shirt skirts and all that and like the chain. I thought it was, it was, I mean, I wouldn't, I, I don't really own stuff like that and I couldn't really wear it, but you know, I thought it was pretty neat. I thought it was pretty aesthetic, all things considered. I, more and more aesthetic phases that people go through. <laughs> oh, red is my favorite color too. Yeah, I like red. <laughs> well, sp more specifically, this like specific shade of red that I really like. It's like this. I'll show you. Like, this specific shade of like. No, that's too red. Like pinkish red, something like. Yeah, this this shade I really like. It's my favorite shade of red. It's kind of like pinkish, magenta-ish, red, something like yeah, like, like that. It's my favorite shade. Okay. Anyway, uh, <laughs> are there gonna be any other like sentient demons? You'll find out. You'll find out. <laughs> Derp, you still have goths at your school? Oh, that's so cool. Your school is cool. <laughs> Oh, you gotta go. Bye bye. Bye bye. Goss aesthetic is cool, but my school is universe. <laughs> oh, yeah. In, like, in Canada, you don't really have any schools with uniform unless they're, like, private or, like, Catholic. I remember in my neighborhood there was, like, a Catholic school that had uniforms. <laughs> okay, anyway, where are we? Oh, yeah. Ryung's side profile. There we, here we go. Okay. His Young actually has a very delicate side profile. <laughs> you can't tell because he has he has a really angry angry eyes and stuff, but he has like very delicate features. <laughs> to be honest, if you take a close look at, at his side profile, you'll find that it's his nose is like pretty pretty small. <laughs> it's very it's very cute looking. <laughs>
it really has like a really angry expression and like really scary eyes, but the rest of his facial features are pretty pretty delicate. <laughs> ghetto side but it's still cool <laughs> yeah it's it's fine like as yeah you know school is what you make of it you know yeah <laughs> Pretty, pretty built, actually. <laughs> his, uh, his height is. Well, what was his height? I forgot how tall I made him. How tall did I make him? It was like 170, 170 something. I forgot. I forgot how tall I made this. Guy. <laughs> I forgot his height. Anyway, he's not that tall. <laughs> but unlike unlike Aster, he's almost done growing. So it's too bad for him, I guess. He's. I think he's 170 something. <laughs> Yeah, he's, he's almost done growing. He's not, he's not, he doesn't have a lot much, much left in him. Poor guy. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Young's body type is that he's pretty built. He's, he's pretty, he's pretty built, yo. He's, but the feature is that he's pretty built, but he's got a really pretty tiny waist. <laughs> He's got a, he's got a really tiny way. <laughs> like that kind of like figure. Like a six pack, but you know you can <laughs> His waist is like I don't know, like seventy centimeters or something like that. I I, I don't know guys waist sizes. I can't I give no idea. If that's a reasonable waist size on a guy, but let's just go with 70 centimeters. <laughs> Aggressive male wife, I guess. I don't, I'll be honest, if Young ever got married, I don't think he's gonna do house chores. <laughs> I don't think he's gonna, like, he'll, he'll do what's needed, I guess, but... He, he's looking for he's looking for someone who would hire a maid. <laughs> that is the type of person he's just like. <laughs> he's not he's not gonna serve another person like that. He's not gonna he's not a nurturing person like that. I, <laughs> sorry. I can't imagine him being like, yeah, I'll cook and clean for you. No, he's not gonna do that. <laughs> Hourglass figure bites the yeah. I wish I can't draw muscles. Um, honestly, I'm not very good at them either. Like the general gist of it is like, you got you got your pecs, then you got like the side that goes something like that, and you got like it connects to the shoulder like that, and then you have the pecs. You have like the, the this ab area. You have like the belly button, and then it goes like something like that, and like the the the, the sixth abs. The third set of abs are like longer than the rest. It goes into the pelvic area like that. Something like the general gist of how I draw a six pack <laughs> goes like that. But I, I'm I'm not an expert on drawing torsos. I it's, I don't do this a lot. <laughs> I'm no good at. It. Okay, 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 okay. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Looks something like that. Snatched waist. Yeah, yeah. Hourglass figure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> women's anatomy is fun. Yeah, women's anatomy is more fun. Because <laughs> women's muscles aren't that obvious. So you don't have to worry too much about the muscle groups being in the right places and all that stuff. <laughs> so I prefer it. <laughs> Okay, who next? Oh, let, let's do landing next. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay, okay.
only struggle I have now is on muscles. You want to draw muscly legs to break the water balance? <laughs> yeah, I can't really draw muscly legs either. I just, I, I, I prefer like thighs that have a bit of fat on them. You know, that they look soft. I like soft looking thighs that you can, you can rest your head on. <laughs> You know? <laughs> you know? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um. Anyway, what am I, what am I doing? Okay. Learning, learning, yes, learning. Okay. <laughs> learning. She... She seems naive, but actually she does have like cat eyes as well. Okay, because the thing is, I really like the cat eye shape. I really like eyes that turn upwards like that. So I, I just gave everybody cat eyes. <laughs> I couldn't help it. I like the side shape too much. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> I think as well. Uh, her features, she's got a lot of like eyelashes though. Like she has, she actually has really pretty eyes. I gave her like a lot of eyelash. She's, she's like very, very pretty eyes like that. A bit wide and naive though. Yeah. Uh, but, oh yeah, Lanny's defining feature is this. this. <laughs> when I sketch her, I just do this, and that that's Lanny. <laughs> she's got she's got the hair bun sometimes. Like the, the the things on the side of her head, like cat ears, <laughs> like little ears. And that that's Lanny. That that's her defining feature. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. Back to the eyes. Yeah, her eyes are a bit wider, and she's got really pretty lashes and all that. And her pupils are actually. Actually, I'll show you. Do -do -do. She goes like a darker purple on the outside and then the inside is not white. The inside is a very light purple like that. <laughs> <laughs> Have you based the characters off of people you know? Nope. <laughs> I don't know anybody like these people. <laughs> Yeah, Lanning, Lanning's feature is that she's really adorable. <laughs> her, she has, um, kind of like the opposite uh, eyelids from Aster, like hers. She has the front eyelid that goes over the back one. So, like, the one that goes from front to back covers the one that goes from the back. So, it looks like it's got this shape, this kind of shape. And it meets around the middle again. Now, this eye, this eyelid... Honestly, it makes no sense. I don't think this is a naturally occurring type of double eyelid in real life, but I, I gave it to her because because I wanted I wanted her to look like that. <laughs> yeah, she has like pretty thin eyebrows, thin at the front, tapers off at the end, kind of like that. They usually kind of usually like worried because <laughs> she's usually <laughs> she's usually worried about something. Yeah, like that. <laughs> Cam is really screaming and crying and pounding the floor with their fists right now. Shh. Shh. No spoilers. No spoilers. Don't say anything. <laughs> okay. Yeah, she has like pretty... Pretty delicate facial features. She has like a pretty, um, cute... Little heart shaped face. She is cute, like. <laughs> like, the goal was to draw her, like, really, pretty cute, really cute. <laughs> Canonically, she's really cute. <laughs> mm. But yeah, she has, like, the, the straight bangs in the middle, like that. And then, like, the side of her face, she's got two bangs that go downwards. And usually they just, like, curve inward a little bit at the very ends, like that. And then her hairstyle... 
think usually she has like these currently she has like these bows that are kind of like I don't know how this works I don't know if this is possible in real life they kind of like are hooded like ears and like they, they go over her hair buns <laughs> like that I don't know if this is really possible <laughs> I don't think I, I don't think I even draw these accurately half the time <laughs> Something like that. I think at one point I had her with like these extra hair bangs that connect to like the front of her hair buns like that as well. Her hairstyle tends to change a bit, yeah. As well. <laughs> Something like that. But generally the main point is that she's got she's always got the two things on the side of her head. As long as she has two things on the side of her head. <laughs> and like and like these middle bangs. That's the <laughs> Oh, you started coloring the screen set, the armor sketch from last stream. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, and she's, that is like 158. Yeah. Shorter than Shinsa. About 158. I think, I think that's how tall I made her. <laughs> Might have been 157. I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember. I don't remember the details. Her side profile is similar to Vyung's, honestly, very delicate. Her nose is a bit pointier, though. Another pointy nose for your pointy nose enthusiasts. <laughs> kind of like delicate. Delicate, delicate facial features. <laughs> Hi, hello, just a boring cat. Hello, welcome to the stream. Uh, oh yeah, and that name's outfit. She's got like, this is pretty consistent. This is the pilot outfit that she wears. So she almost never changes out of this <laughs> for the entirety of the first season. She, so she's, it's got like this collar that pops up like that. It's a little V in the middle. And this like little clo three clover, I don't know what to call this. Three leaf shape that's stemming from that. And then it goes down into like this boob window, except she doesn't have boobs. So it's just a chest window. <laughs> and it's like it's got these sleeveless things and they got like borders for the collar and like the sleeves, but no, no borders here. Like that's like the, the collar of her pilot uniform. The rest is just like this, this um, white dress, white slip. That's generally how she looks. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what color are scabs in blue matter usually though? Sure. They're usually, um, usually, actually, this isn't a very good, here you go. Is the brightness, is my brightness too high? Is that why? Okay. Anyway. Usually black, and then they'll have like a, yeah. Sorry, sometimes the model breaks because the camera's too close to my face. I have it pinned onto my uh, my tab my drawing tablet so that I can so that it actually has my face in view. Yeah, my, and then like I go over it lightly with like a reddish color or like a dark magenta wine color. So usually, usually like these two tones. That's the color that I go with. Yeah. <laughs> So anywhere between there, and usually like the, the darker it is, like the harder it is. <laughs> Damn, you don't have to do landing like that. What did I do to her? <laughs> what did I do to her? <laughs> she has no boobs, that's just how it is. <laughs> she has no boobs. <laughs> it's not 
nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> it's aerodynamic. She's a pilot. She has to be aerodynamic. <laughs> okay. Uh, how are we doing? Euclid's. And while we're at it, we can do the rest of the sword gods too, because they they're 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 family members. And they're all kind of similar. I think I, I think I mentioned this before, but we can go into more detail here. Euclid is like. His facial features are a bit sharper. The Sogla, whole Sogla family, their facial features are a bit sharper. And I, I differentiate him with this. It's like, it's sh similar to Shinsa's poof, honestly, except he's got like these two extra thing which are these here, and, and it's going in the opposite direction. <laughs> With darker red and black over it, it doesn't really matter which order you go in. I guess it doesn't really matter which order you go. In. Anything is fine. Yeah. Euclid is noted by his pretentious slick back hair thing, majiggy. <laughs> and then he has he, um, the Sobolar family. Uh, are ones like where they they have colored eyelashes. They're not black, they're colored eyelashes. They're the color of their, usually the color of their hair. Euclid's, if you look carefully, you'll notice that Euclid's eyebrows and his eyelashes are actually a different color than the rest of his hair. If you look carefully. <laughs> okay, so his eye shape Usually like straight up top, like little eyelash that goes downwards, then curls up at the end, like that. So they're kind of almost hexagonal shape, almost like a hex hexagonal shape, you know. If you draw a hexagon, a slanted hexagon, and you just erased the bottom, the bottom three, <laughs> that's kind of <laughs> what his face looks like, his eye look like. And then you got, you got a little, you tend to draw him with like a little connecting to a bottom eyelash like that. Yeah. He plays, okay, I, I, usually this is hard to see, so I'll go into detail about his eye coloring. I have like a really, really light blue. And I color almost all of his eye i leave like a ring of white on the outside and i go with like light lilac purple and then i color in his pupil that is euclid's eye color <laughs> it's a very 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 light blue i think yeah it's almost got a bit of gray in it like a bluish gray and then like a light lilac color for the center pupil Hot take you clay is better than you <laughs> Is that really a hot take? I think in the current in the current chapter, uh, I think all you see is Eugene being an asshole. <laughs> is it really a hot take? <laughs> I mean <laughs> I I read in the comments and I think readers are very angry <laughs> at Big Bro right now. I like younger looking boys. <laughs> uh, well, given your age, your age, you could probably say that. I cannot say that. <laughs> I cannot say those words. <laughs> uh, just for the VOD, I, am re I read a comment in chat that said they like younger looking boys. I did not say that. I did, those are not my words. <laughs> I am too old to be saying that. Your claims reminds you of Draco Malfoy and it gives you trauma of your Potterhead cousin. <laughs> I mean, I feel like Draco was a bit more of an asshole for a longer time. And he got like a halfway kind of ish redemption at the very end ish, maybe. I don't even remember very well. Uh, but for you, you claims I'm kind of front loading his character development. 
I'm trying to pace the character development so that somebody's always developing at different points in time. So like, Eclaze, I front-loaded his character development. <laughs> a bunch of it happens at the very beginning. <laughs> and then like, the, the other half will happen later on. But And then like, with, with Lanning's character development, it's a very gradual thing. I would say she, she's probably gonna go through a lot, like the most. The only is like, <laughs> I feel like Rune is an almost fully developed character already. He's he's, he's more like backstory kind of guy that you <laughs> to get to if you want to get to know him. He doesn't he doesn't change a lot. <laughs> he's stuck in his ways. Over a certain age, you're not attractive to any more exceptions or dilfs and gilfs. But if, if your exceptions are dilfs and gilfs, then doesn't that mean that the age doesn't really matter? <laughs> I mean, if you like gilfs and dilfs, then, then the age doesn't really matter that much. It just means you like attractive people. <laughs> so you're good. You're, you're in the clear. Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> anyway, what was I, what was I doing? Okay, yeah. Ah, Euclid is the Sogwa eyelids. They're like double eyelids, but they meet at the front. So it's kind of like they join together at the very front. It's like a very, very, very short front eyelid. The longer, big one that, that hoods over like this. Like that. That's the, that's the Sogwa double eyelid. <laughs> and he's the one with like the thicker eyebrows. Well, in, in my, my definition of thicker, I guess. <laughs> and like, he, he this angled upwards, and then just draw like, angled upwards, a bit thicker at the front there. Very angular, rectangle, and then, phew, phew, like a little, close it off at the very end, taper off at the very end, like that. That's the, the Euclid's eyebrows. <laughs> oh, and he has a little beauty mark right down here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Euclid deserves a better family. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> it's a pretty shitty family to be born into, but at least they're rich. Oh shoot, I actually didn't accidentally do it on the long, wrong layer. Oh well. <laughs> okay, anyway, anyway, anyway. So his, his hairline. He's got like one strand that goes inward like that. Sometimes there's two. Depends on how well his hair gel is holding up that day. <laughs> yeah, he, he definitely gels his hair. He gels the hell out of his hair. <laughs> and... So his, his poof is a bit longer, like two-thirds going up like that, and then he like one-third going down like that, and then it goes over. So you still have like, have like one strand like this. One strand goes down, and then the rest of them uh, go down like that. So it's like a like like a claw. <laughs> One strand like that, and the rest that go like that. And inside, you got these. Uh, he still has like a hairline on the inside, not like Shin says, which like a straight line. He still has like a hairline, you know. <laughs> he still has it. <laughs> like, so you just, just draw in a hairline any way you want. <laughs> Actually, I, I think I drew this too far back. Oh well. I made I made the rest of his hair too big, or I drew his hair, his eyes in too small. Anyways, I can fix that later. His hair goes up like that. And then this is like relatively straight. And then, then there's like the rest of his hair. So it, it, it ends somewhere around where his um, sideburns are. He does have like actual sideburns. Um, okay, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna cheat because I made his eyes too small. There we go. 
At least <laughs> Do you keep a chart of all the character designs? No. I, when you draw a webtoon, you're drawing them so many times that you just remember what they look like. <laughs> and if, uh, with characters that don't appear as often, like the side characters, sometimes I have to look up a panel where they last appeared to remember what they look like. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and then it goes, over like this it's like a almost like like if you folded a paper <laughs> over then just gave it strands of hair like that so it ends somewhere around where his sideburns are so he has actual sideburns that go down like that and then draw his ear and the rest of his hair is it's just like slicked back May vary, may vary. He does gel his hair every day. He's, he doesn't always do a good job. <laughs> so it has like um, part that hangs down like that, that ends here. And the rest of it hangs down at the base of his neck like that. This kind of shape. And the rest of his hair, the other side is just like slicked back. Choo -choo -choo -choo. This guy gives me issues too. Yeah, yeah, his, he does give me issues. Especially like sometimes his hair doesn't make much sense. You'll, you'll see, I'm not very, always very consistent. $40 cab right from the hairline to eyebrow. Uh, have you seen my VTuber model? I accidentally made the forehead way too big on this thing. <laughs> I, sh I, I, I shouldn't have pointed that out, but I just did. Have you noticed how big my forehead is? Look at it. It's huge. <laughs> anyway, that's gonna bother you for the rest of the stream now. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> And yeah, um, his eyes, his eyes are relatively deep set, so his eyebrows would protrude, protrude forward from his eyes, so that they, they're like, there's like, there's this distance between where his eyes end and where his eyebrow ends. And let's see, do, do, do. Yeah, the soul gloss have pretty sharp noses, so you're for your, you pointy nose enthusiasts, you get your... Your big ass note. <laughs> Let's see. What character do I like to repeatedly draw the most? Young, because he's easy. <laughs> he's easy to color. He's easy to draw, and I get to experiment and give him new hairstyles and eyeliner and all that stuff. So he's fun. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I accidentally made him too small. He's so much smaller than the other faces. Oh well. I zoomed in too much when drawing this one. Yeah, his, his outfit is usually like I decided to settle with settle with this one. Just a little collar, like a lace, like a I don't know what to call this, like a little neck tie thing of a jiggy. It's clasped together by the Solglor family emblem. Uh, the Solglor family emblem is the circle. And then you draw a little squiggly line like that. The go like a little S. And you draw these little S's all the way around. Make sure they're all going in the same direction. The little S's all the way around. And then you connect the tips of your S's. Oh, this one, this one is too far. Connect the tips of, tips of your S's with these little rounded triangles. And then you connect your little rounded triangles from the middle with more little rounded triangles. And that's the Solglar family emblem. It's a... Uh, the, the thing in the middle is supposed to be like a little... like a little sun. It's supposed to represent like a little sun. 
And like the, the, the leaves on the outside are supposed to be like flower petals. Like it's like a, a sun inside a flower. That's the that's the motif of their family emblem. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I sh I really should turn this into like a stamp or something so it's easier for me to to put it into the comic. But I just end up hand drawing it every time. <laughs> How do I draw hair? Like in general? Um, God, I don't know. <laughs> how, do I, how do I draw hair? It's, I think I think I usually start with the bangs and then I and then I do the rest. It, it, that's not a very good explanation. <laughs> start with the bangs. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't think I'm a good expert on how to draw hair. <laughs> Cause usually I, I don't really know what I'm doing with hair. Okay. Soul, yeah, soul. Sun glory, glory of the sun. It's such a pretentious name. <laughs> and it's not even like normal so It's like you call it the last soul glory. <laughs> I, I decided to make it as pretentious as possible. Yeah, yeah, they're French. They're French. They're, they're a French family. <laughs> yeah, so he has the uh, strong nose bridge, sharp nose. They're not too sharp, but you know. Definitely the most, ah, the most angular <laughs> of the characters. There we go. There we go. You know, since he's here, I'm gonna do the rest of the the rest of his family as well. I'm just gonna show you their similarities and differences. Uh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, oh yeah, I forgot to his clothes. Yeah, he has the emblem, and then he has this little white strip that goes down. Then, then he has this little what. The rest of his little sweater. There, that's his that's his uh, go-to uniform. Mm -hmm. And now I'm gonna I'm gonna do a sister. <laughs> uh, da, da, da. The Unifer has a very similar hairline to Euclid's. By the way, did the VTuber model change from last time? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> yes, yes, it, it is. It is very different from last time. I um, looks more modern now, and uh, it's yeah. I made the hair fluffier. <laughs> Or was I? Oh yeah, yeah. Unifer has a similar hairline to Euclid, so for that you can draw them almost, almost the exact same way. The hairline, except she, her hair keeps going downwards. Because I don't draw her that often. <laughs> it's not, it's not very in detail like her, her character design yet. I haven't, I don't draw her that often. So hair tends to go downwards. And then she has another. Yes, I do believe she has. A, she has another strand that goes like that, as well. So she she actually has. She doesn't tuck her hair back. She lets it go forward. And she has a little headband. Yes, she has like two strips. So two two ends, which I'm gonna call it. One thinner one that goes down to about past shoulder length. I don't remember very well. She she's not set in stone at all. <laughs> And then like her, the back of her hair is, is neat because it kind of twists in one direction like that. She has like this little twisty, twisty, twisty hair that goes in one direction like that. That's her, that's her hair, like a, like a drill. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, that was the headband. Doo -doo -doo. Any tips on drawing? Squid's gotta go. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye.
Any tips on drawing a side view? Hmm. So draw a circle is what I do. And I draw a line. It's going to be the side of their face. And through the middle of that line, I draw another line. It's, it's usually like part way through the circle. That's, that's the eye line. So you got a little circle side view thing. And then at the eye line, this is where the nose will go. The, the place where the eyes, the nose will start here at the eye line. And then I just draw it. I follow the line, like I draw a nose, draw a mouth. There's like little triangles. Yeah, nose and mouth are little triangles that head towards the line. Uh. <laughs> Um, I'm really not very good at <laughs> explaining this, except like the mouth a little bit rounded. This is, I mean, this is just how I do it. This is not the most anatomically correct way of drawing a side view. So I usually try to make the end of the chin meet the line at the very bottom. Till then, you can draw these lips and noses however you want. And then the chin goes towards the face. So usually this, this is also where your ear is going to start, around the middle part. So in the middle width of your circle, this is where your ear is going to start at the eye line, and then it's going to end the bottom of the nose. Then you just got to connect your jawline somehow, depending on what kind of jawline your character has. And then the eyes, because you're from the side view, for a human being, when you look at them from the side, their eyes are actually like very flat, kind of like that, right? But because this is anime, <laughs> that doesn't that doesn't always look very good. So like, they still make them flatter, but like, not that much. So you can still see the details of their eyes. And then an the eyebrow, which is just tends to go a bit past the eye, because when you look at it from the side view, your eyes are sunken down a bit. So you have the eyebrows that go a bit past your eyes. To make some distance between here and here and then you got your forehead and then this, this the rest of your head and you just give him some hair <laughs> and yeah that's that's the side that's the side view <laughs> Actually, are we far enough in can in the originals right now to talk about her? <laughs> Actually, I think are we read right at the chapter where she's like, "You can't go in," blah blah blah. <laughs> oh, we are. We're at the chapter where she's like, "You can't go in." <laughs> okay, okay. So, so she's like the gatekeep. She should be the gatekeep in the 3Gs. Either her, Icarus or her is the gas line in the 3Gs. She's probably the... <laughs> she, yeah. Oh, uh, you know, maybe we're gonna get a face reveal. I don't, I don't really know. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Because the thing is, I don't want people in real life to know <laughs> which webtoon is mine. Because <laughs> I don't want people in real life to read my webtoon. Like... I, I, like, I've told my parents and my friends, like, that I'm drawing a webtoon, but I haven't told them which one it is. Because <laughs> it's embarrassing to have people you know read, read your webtoon for some reason. I don't want them to, I don't want them to know which one is mine. <laughs> so I've been keeping it a secret from them. <laughs> Maybe one day. Maybe one day, I don't know. If webtoon ever wants to hit me up for, like, one of those interviews, I'll do it. <laughs> It's not, it's not like that big of a deal. Okay, yeah, and her eyes are similar to Euclid's. They got like the colored eyelashes. She's just got more eyelashes. You know, the, the, the Disney way of, or like, what was it? Cal Arts way of defining a character as female, just give them more eyelashes <laughs> and color them pink. <laughs> go, 
bit more eyelashes. Just like, just like the clays, except with more eyelashes. And she's a bit rounder, I think. Honestly, I don't haven't I haven't sculpted her out perfectly yet. She's also got relatively thick eyebrows. She's got the thick eyebrows. Yeah, yeah. And on the other side of her face is where she's got the halo shards. She's got two underneath her, what's what is it, the, the left eye. She's got two right there. But she doesn't have any beauty marks. Unlike her brother's. They inherited all the beauty marks. <laughs> I do like her outfit though. Like her, she has like, I think initially these were like laced at the edges as well. I don't know if I kept them laced, but yeah, she's got the rounded collars and like little soglar symbol. And her collar just like, I think Euclid also sometimes wears his symbol as like cufflinks, I think. Yeah. I don't really remember. What, was it, was he always, did he always get the symbol at his collar or did I give them to his cufflinks? I forget. Anyway, they, they, all the members of the Soul Glove family tend to wear their emblem on some part of their body as some kind of accessory. <laughs> you, you can mix and match if you want. I don't even remember. Sometimes they're cufflink, sometimes they want their collar. I don't I don't remember why I put them. <laughs> yeah, she's got the like a little ribbon. But I, I do like I do like her outfit. She's got the little shoulder exposed shoulder over here, which I think is neat. <laughs> Astler's mom is very pretty. <laughs> Yeah, the old Astler looks just like her. <laughs> my mom knows nothing of anything I do online. Yep. The less my parents know about what I'm into, the better. I think, I think my dad knows that I play Genshin, but he doesn't know that it's called Genshin. Like, they see me play like rhythm games and stuff because oh, they, can, they can see me physically doing it. <laughs> but yeah they're better now because like now I'm working and I earn my own money and like I'm like a relatively uh, put together competent adult so it's okay now but in the past when I was like in school they were always like why are you playing games you should be studying why aren't you studying <laughs> or even when I was like fresh out of uni and like my first job wasn't that good of a job it didn't pay that well they were like you should be studying to get a better job <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, study first, play later. Even now, my dad sometimes is like, well, you know, you should tell your work to train you so you can get a better job. <laughs> get that free training. <laughs> they're, all, they're always like that. <laughs> well, my current job is pretty good, though, because, like, it's so chill. It's so chill. And, like, I don't actually do a lot of work. Um, yeah. <laughs> Like when I when I do have work, they they they're always checking up on me. Like, oh, do you have too much on your plate? Oh, you're doing so much. Meanwhile, I'm working like like maybe three hours a day of actual sitting at my computer work. <laughs> like that 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 is the like a lot of work. That is the that is the huge workload that they think they're giving. Me. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, okay, if you if you think I'm overworked, I, I'll take your word for it. <laughs> sure. Yeah, I'm having such a hard time. <laughs> I mean, sure. <laughs> anyway, what was, it, what was I? What was I doing? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You the first side profile. <laughs> yeah. Similarly, they they got the true got the soglon nose, but like not not as sharp as you places. It's a bit more rounded. Yeah. Still, still, she's, she's a soglon. Yeah. There you go. 
Okay, hold on. Oh yeah, big bro, we're going doing big bro next. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, I, I can, I can, can't wait for all the divided op op opinions on this guy. <laughs> Canvas peeps will remember there was one chapter involving Eugene, where suddenly the comment count was like double the number of comments in all the previous chapters. <laughs> I won't say anything more than that, but... <laughs> anyway, I, I, all I say is I'm the type of person, I'm the type of author who does whatever I want, whether you guys like it or not. <laughs> okay, okay, um... White-haired characters are always so fine, yes! This is a fact. That is a fact. White-haired characters are almost always very, very good. Because <laughs> the thing is, you don't want to waste the white hair on a character that isn't attractive. White hair is top tier. If you're going to give a character white hair, you better make sure they're one of your best characters, you know? You can't waste it. You can't waste... If you want to maintain character diversity and you want to give a character white hair, you got to make sure the white hair goes to a good character. <laughs> To draw an asterisk in suits someday. I think I she's a the Valentine's picture of Shinza. She's already in a suit, sort of. I, I mean, I had to take parts of it off, but ah, <laughs> uh, I think Aster, I think I've drawn him in a suit before too for like the New Year's picture. But maybe maybe I'll have them both in proper suits together at some point. The free training that doesn't actually no my, my company is training me for free i mean sort of it's like uh, it, it's something that's relevant to what i'm doing sort of and, and they're like okay yeah sure you'll we'll, we'll pay for the certification but it's not like super expensive i don't think they would pay for like a master's degree for free <laughs> but like yeah small stuff they'll pay like certifications a couple hundred bucks here or there they'll pay You explain, is mansplain in the DMs? What is it? Um, man, man, mansplain, manipulate, male wife? <laughs> it's definitely not the male wife. Is there a single male wife? Oh, Shinzen is a male wife. <laughs> He's the only male wife. Actually, not even, I don't think any of the, well, I guess Lanning is kind of wife material, but none of the other girls are very wife material. <laughs> They're all, everybody's a career, career person, you know? Everybody's, everybody's got their ambitions and stuff. <laughs> um, Pokemon Gen 3 Protag is wearing a hat and not actually white hair. That's a hat? Man, this is like JoJo levels of messed up, yo. <laughs> okay, okay, where was that? Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. My OCs got called a grandma because of my her her white hair. Why does an asshole get called grandpa? Why aren't you guys calling him grandpa? <laughs> is he is he not is he not old enough for that nickname? <laughs> okay, what is it? Uh, you Eugene Eugene. Young is male wife. Uh, sh sure sure. <laughs> I'm being honest, he's more like trophy wife. <laughs> You think that guy's gonna take care of your children? Hell no. <laughs> He's like, he ain't gonna do shit. <laughs> okay, okay, anyway. Uh, Eugene's. Eugene's. I, I, he's. Uh, all of, out of all of the three song laws, Eugene has the prettiest eyelashes. <laughs> he is the most. <laughs> his nickname is Prince Charming because of how. Oh, Icarus gave him that nickname, and then it just caught on. Uh, he... <laughs> because of how pretty he it looks. Like, he's the quintessential angel. <laughs> Angelic. <laughs> looks. So I tend to, like, give him, like, one eyelash that points downwards and draw this. Like, like, one little eyelash that, here, that goes down like that. 
I think that's how I'm currently drawing him. And he might not be like that in the, re in the current chapters. The way I'm drawing him recently is like that. <laughs> and then like two more eyelashes. One that, one that curls upwards and, a, and another one that sticks out like that. Then another bottom, bottom lash. Tons of eyelashes on this guy. His eyes are less like square shaped and less angular than his siblings, like they're more sort of rounded cat eye shape. I really tried to make him pretty. <laughs> the type of that type of character. <laughs> are we gonna get some Asler angst? <laughs> That's what you look Hmm, actually, I'm thinking, does Aster ever go through any real angst? Kind of? Kind of. Uh, I would say it takes a while to get there, though, because he's, you know, I gotta build him up first into a, I gotta develop his character a lot, and build him up first, and then I'm going to... <laughs> It's a secret. <laughs> it's a secret. Anyways, what was I doing? Oh yeah. And he has he has two toned eye color. Like the bottom one is like this bright blue. The top color is like this still a bright blue but more purplish. Yeah, did this Anyway, these are these are the values of that. <laughs> I, d I don't know. I don't have the hexadecimal values of any of these. This is this is Yeah, yeah. Just just color drop. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, and when I draw Eugene, he's oh, I made his eye too big. Yeah. I, I, I almost I always end up accidentally making his eyes too big. <laughs> He's supposed to be like older. He's in his twenty. He's in his early twenties. But like, I keep on, keep on forgetting. <laughs> I keep on drawing him too young looking. Anyway, choo -choo -choo. oh yeah, Euler fur is like one sixty five, one sixty four, something like that. She's a very standard height. Anyway, anyway, uh. Jean has more like. Eyebrows are still a bit thick at the beginning, but they do curve in ways. They're very low set, closer to his eyes. Turn upward, the lower one turns upward like that, and then they meet in the middle. And then after they meet, it goes, turns downward a little bit like that. That type of shoosh, shoosh eyebrow. <laughs> Yeah, and the way I differentiate Eugene when my drafts is just I give him this hair and then I, I, I do this <laughs> he's identified by the shape of his halo it's like the laurel wreath except it's pointing upwards <laughs> yeah he has the he's, he also styles his hair like this it's like Sogwa family uh, the boys in the Sokolov family tend to use hair gel. It purposely he make, he purposely makes his hair look like a dork. Um, for both Euclid's and Eugene, their natural hair like falls like that. This is what their hair naturally looks like. They just they just gel it to make it look dorky. <laughs> I 
is he older than Shinsuke? Yes, he's older than Shinsuke. He was, uh, he's currently 22, 23, something like that. <laughs> and, like, his back of his hair is similar to you, Clay's, except it's not gelled. It's just, there's a short part that ends here, and then the rest that curves down to his neck, like that. Like that. Yeah. And the other point, he's got a mole on his lip. Like that. He's got very cute lips. <laughs> I know you can't you can't really tell. It's hard to tell, but you Jane is the only uh, character that has naturally a little bit of pink on his lip. <laughs> It's a very light dusting. If you look closely, you'll find that his lips, the bottom lip, there's a very thin line of pink. <laughs> it's to go with the princely image, you know? The, uh, what is it? The typical sho shoujo manga, like old, old style of shoujo manga, the really pretty male leads. <laughs> Yeah, I and his his uh his halo. I, I actually I keep on getting this mixed up myself, but it starts from behind his ear. Some people, um, if they look back in the if you remember from canvas, there's some parts points where I ended up drawing his halo like that from in front of his ear. That is wrong. I messed up. His halo starts from behind his ear, like that. This one big shard the this first shard is shaped like two shards, they join together. A bit little like a V, like a check mark. Yeah, the big one goes up front, the little one at the back. Then you just alternate, shard there, one shard there, like a, like a wreath. Like the, the, what do they call it? The, the Greek olive wreath thing, but jiggy, whatever. <laughs> Laurel wreath, yeah. <laughs> whatever. Yeah, except it's pointing upwards. <laughs> How do I choose color palettes? Um, honestly, I'm not very good at color matching, which is why the trick I use is every time I color something, I give it a base color. So yeah, I have this base color. Then I, oopsies. I color the base of all of my characters with. And then on top of it, I go with the marker tool because the marker tool has opacity, so some of the base color will always show through. So what I can do with the marker tool is that when I color the skin, some of the base color will always show through. And what it does is it, it harmonizes the color palette, because there's always like that, that underlying color that makes it all look like the same, like, that makes sure nothing's too contrasting and all that. So yeah, that's how I, that's how I do it. And then I usually just pick from my existing color palette here. This is the, every color that I use in Blue Matter is here. <laughs> um, yeah, this color palette is just uh, to make sure I don't end up picking a bunch of wacky colors. Some of these I don't even use. Some of these I should be getting rid of, but yeah. Mm. Sorry, I drink a lot. I haven't drank water this whole time. I forgot to drink. Yeah. Yeah, so I just pick from my existing color palette. Yeah, here we go. That's the whole palette. And then I just go over. <laughs> Usually this would be on a separate layer, but yeah. I am honestly not the person to go to for color palettes and stuff because I'm not very good at color either. I'm pretty. I'm generally not very good, <laughs> so that's why I use cheats like this. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, Eugene, he's 182 centimeters tall. Uh, the tallest so far. <laughs> 182, that is tall. <laughs> A whole six feet, whoa! <laughs> yeah, stay hydrated. I have, a, I have a problem where I forget to drink. 
forget to eat and forget to sleep. <laughs> it's just, you know, I, I, I just, I get caught up. I forget, I forget. Oh yeah, and side profile is... Choo -choo. Again, it's more delicate than... It's a bit more delicate than Euclasius because he's the, he's the pretty, he's the pretty one. <laughs> he got the pretty jeans. <laughs> no, all the Soglores are kind of pretty, but you know. Still like somewhat prominent nose, but it's more like pointed, more like sharp like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Is there anything you want us to call you? Anything you want? <laughs> I guess. Forgot. Yeah. People have been going by a bunch of stuff. Um. Somebody calls me before I go and you. Some people just forgot. Or just forgot. <laughs> you, can, you can. At one point I was wondering, like, if I turn forgot user into, like, an acronym. F you. <laughs> but we can't, we can't do that, apparently, because, you know, I mean, we shouldn't do that. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, and with Eugene's clothing, it's a bit... Uh, sometimes I still mess this up, because he has this, like... He has this thing where he has this popped collar, like some kind of emo, emo kid. <laughs> Except, um, then, like, they meet sideways. They meet, the, his collars meet, like, on, on, on the, on, on the, like, left side of his body. And, like, there's, like, this cross. He has the cross, like, pretty much, I think all the, uh, Armada, Armada, a lot of the Armada members will have some kind of cross in their uniform. And then it connects to, like, the Solgor badge on the other side of his chest. He's got little diamond-shaped buttons going down. Yeah, he's the only character with like a trench coat. <laughs> Honestly, he he dresses like an edgy emo kid. <laughs> it, the only reason he's not is because it's white. <laughs> like if he wore black, this would be like such a freaking edgy character to say. <laughs> mm. One thing is though, like a lot of the the Armada characters will have uniforms that are the similar color to his eye to their eyes, but with Eugene, his uniform subcolor is actually a lighter blue. Um, the, the truth and secret is, they did send him initially a uniform that were the colors of his eyes, because but because it was so bright and garish and tacky looking, he uh, he got it remade to a lighter blue. <laughs> that's that's a secret secret secret. A uh, character backstory fact for you guys. <laughs> hey, if you, <laughs> lady, <for God. laughs> don't I? I don't think I have the personality befitting of a lady. <laughs> what are your pronouns? F you, she, her. <laughs> Eugene also had yeah. Maybe they all had emo faces. Oh, Eugene as a kid was. <laughs> no, no, he's he's always been. No, actually, Eugene as a kid was not was much nicer. He was a very nice kid. Let's just say he was a very he was a very good boy, very good boy. <laughs> uh, who should we do next? Icarus. We'll do Icarus next, because I think I think that's the those are the most pertinent characters for now. Or if you guys want another character to request. I will, I will go over their designs as well. Mm -hmm. But for now, we're gonna go with Icarus. Icarus is a... Actually, yeah, Icarus's design... I don't really have like a, a big key point for her. And usually I just like have the thing of a jiggy than like the braid hair but it's, it's hard to like differentiate she, she doesn't have like huge key point other than like the lab coat i think that's the, that's the main <laughs> icarus design point and to differentiate her she has a giant lab coat on her shoulder she doesn't even wear it properly she wears it on her shoulders 
<laughs> I hear Icarus, I have a fan. Uh, Icarus fan. Yeah, Eugene, he just hasn't appeared much. Yeah, uh, Canvas, he's, he's there a bit more. Because, actually, how, how far have we gotten in... In, in the original, you've gotten to the point where like Eugene's like, oh, I'll take you onto my team, right? So yeah, yeah. Since he's gonna be team captain in a bit, <laughs> you're gonna be seeing more of him. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, the red hair as well. Yeah, the red hair. I think she's the only character with red hair. Yeah, Icarus's hair is the... just. I only have like one actual red in my palette, so her hair is the same color as Shinsu's eyes. <laughs> Icarus's eyes are like... They're kind of cat-eyed, but they're rounded at the end, and then big, big, big long eyelash. Big long eyelash. It juts out like that. Like that. They're a bit more narrow because like she's always she's a very sly, sly individual. She's always smugly looking down on you. <laughs> and there's a point like where her her pupils are a bit different because rather than like the normal white pupil, she has like Just like the the like circle little ring little ring instead of like normal pupils. <laughs> and she has like small small double eyelid. Her hair is like, how do I, how do I describe it? <laughs> um, actually, maybe it's better from the front. I show from the front. Yeah, okay. Her hairline from the front is like, it's like a loop, but it kind of goes backwards, like, like that. It's almost, almost like, it's very, very close. A little M, then a proper M here. And then this this hair will like have one strand that goes outward and the one that goes downwards like that. So like one one part here, one part down here, and then the two sides of her face. These are all, these strands will like stick outward a bit here, and then loop inwards like that. And then the other point to make note of is after this like hair loopy part, her ears are here and there's actually, you can see a sliver of skin here where her hair is tucked behind her ears. She has some hair, more hair that's tucked behind her ears like that. So you, this is, you see a sliver of skin here. She has her hair tucked, which is separate from her side bangs up front here. And then the rest of it is in this one giant braid. Honestly, I don't know if any human physically has this much hair <laughs> to, to, to separate into different parts, but she, she does. It's a lot of hair. And the length of the braid, it's, it's long. I think it ends like lower back or something. Honestly, I am not, I've not been consistent with it. But yeah, one big braid. I think in Canvas at the beginning, I had her hair like tied towards the side, like the dead mom haircut. But because Shinsa's hair was also um, parted down one side, I decided uh, I wanted to make her hair more unique. So I gave her one big braid instead. <laughs> and of course, the signature lab coat on her shoulders. Yeah. 
Where's the... Lab coat on her shoulders, that's her that's her general silhouette. But she also has like a bang and tight black dress. <laughs> and like black ankles. She's covered from head to toe. No skin showing whatsoever. Other than on her face. <laughs> And she and she's like she wears high heels, so she looks taller, but she's like one sixty two centimeters. <laughs> you can step. <sighs> anyway, yeah, she does. She does wear high heels, so you know if, if, if you're feeling up to it, it's gonna hurt though. <laughs> Her heels are like, he, she has like, I think, I believe I gave her like the, yeah, the pretty pointy type of heels, right? Yeah, so this is, this is gonna hurt. This is pointed, pointed heels. It's, it's gonna hurt. But you know, if, if you're up for it, go ahead. <laughs> Thought she'd be closer to Eugene. In terms of what, height? Nah. Nah. <laughs> I mean, the heels give her like a few inches, but nah, she's, she's, she's pretty short. <laughs> and side profile. Look at this, actually. She does have a very upturned nose. Upturned. Curvy, like like that. Probably the most anime he knows. <laughs> These her features are pretty feminine. something I, I almost I always forget like the yeah her she has a let's see angular eyebrows but they're always kind of like somewhat smug <laughs> how do I how do I explain it? smug looking eyebrows like they're kind of angular but curved like like this kind of swoopy motion so they do they point upwards towards the end but they're also kind of like Curved, so <laughs> she feels kind of like she's judging you. <laughs> A very smug demeanor, and I always forget she's got like blue things on the side of her eyes. One on the bottom, and two up top, like that. Usually these are hidden, so you can't see them very well. But yes, like that. <laughs> Are her heels secretly guns like Bayonetta? No, she does not use her heels to fight. That's the last of the important characters <laughs> for now. Um, honestly, Yulifer is not even that important. I, I, just, I just did her because her siblings were there. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's it. Unless there are any more requests. It's a very good stream. Thank you all for coming. Uh -huh. I 
want her to judge me all the time. Are all of you messages? Like all of you? <laughs> all of you? Can you show all the people you go? Okay, sure, we'll do it, we'll do it. We'll do a scroll down. We got Shinsa with her. Shinsa Nate. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. And then there's Astor. Young, yeah, here he is. Uh, we're gonna. We're gonna. <laughs> Lenny. <laughs> and then the scab. <laughs> You and Rose got a crush on Astler, right? It sure seems that way, huh? <laughs> She's his brother? Oh, do you guys want She's his brother? I can do him. If you... If you want. Uh, you Clays. You Lefer. Jean. Because I am not a masochist. I have no parts in the shenanigans. <laughs> um, so, okay. I can do... I can, I'll do She's in and some, somebody wants Ba as well. <laughs> To be honest, Bach, uh, I have not gotten super in detail with him yet. Um, but okay, Shin Zen. Please do not include me with these people. They're by themselves. <laughs> it's gonna be a small civil war. <laughs> people who want to be stepped on and people who want to do not. <laughs> Yes, okay, okay. Shin Zen. Mm. His hair is actually quite poofy. He's got like the middle part in the middle. And then two and then poofy hair on the side. It's pretty, it's pretty poofy. <laughs> and like they go inwards. So it's, it has this front part here. First. Three parts. Middle, side, side. And then, apart from that, you've got the long side bangs. Because he's got long hair. And then his ears. I think I have him in a half ponytail most of the time. So I, I forgot how, what his hair accessory looked like. I think it was something like that. But it, it doesn't matter that much. <laughs> a half ponytail and then the rest of his ponytail. His hair like that. Well, this is that's what he looked like when he was, he was human. When he's a demon, he's got like half his face covered. <laughs> Just draw some raggedy hobo hair in there. <laughs> and there you have it. <laughs> and yeah, Shinzen is, I think, currently like 188 centimeters. So, oh, 188 centimeters tall. He's the tallest yet. He's a tall boy. He's a, he's a tall. He's a, he's, a, he's a tall guy. He's pretty. <laughs> I think he's the closest to like an actual well-built character. He's got pretty broad shoulders for, for the for my art style <laughs> anyway. <laughs> he's got he's pretty tall and like he's really well built, you know. He's, all the training, all the training. Cuz he trains with Shane so like if you got want to keep up with her in demon form, you got to got to work pretty hard, you know. Yeah, so he's pretty he's pretty well he's really, pretty well built. Also, it might be, might just be their genetics, you know, maybe something in the Sheena, it's water, it's just, <laughs> just giving people really big boobies, I don't know. <laughs> I didn't say it, I didn't say that. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Um. Mm -hmm. Oh, meme dealer, hello, you, you always join in at like the end. <laughs> Okay, Shin, Shinzen's eyes. I, I really like his eyes. They're very. It starts off somewhat similar to Shinzen's, like the, the general shape. They don't curve up as much at the ends, though. He's got. He's got nice eyelashes. The lower eyelashes are very nice. So looks somewhat similar to Shane's, but the difference is that his the end of his eyes don't curl up that much. 
And his double eyelids, it starts off with a gap at the front, and then it meets in the middle of his eye, and then it ends off with a gap at the end, like that. Um, yeah, Shin Shinzen is mixed because his mom is an angel, so. And he does have like the white pupil and the blue eyes, generally. And he has very low set eyebrows, very serious, serious, serious man. Very straight, low set eyebrows like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it just came back from the movies. Oh, hello, welcome. What, what movie did you watch? Was it Morbius? <laughs> I've been seeing Morbius memes everywhere these days. <laughs> the movie's so bad it became popular. a bit more masculine than some of the other boys is. There we go. Did we ever meet his mom? No, not yet. <laughs> Top Gun Maverick. Well, it's certainly better than Morbius. <laughs> Which is certainly a movie. Uh, oh, Dealer. Just gonna call him Dealer. It's so sketchy. <laughs> I guess it's guess it's better than calling him meme. <laughs> like when Tom Cruise said it's more of a time. <laughs> well, since Top Gun, would it be like since it's top in time? <laughs> no, no, I, I would I would give it a M rating. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, yeah. Shinzen is a very attractive person. <laughs> I, I tried to make him as, as, as handsome as I, as I could. Um, the point is that he, despite being uh, lumped in with Shinsa, who's like kind of feared and avoided, he's very popular with people in Shinan because he's just so good looking. <laughs> people, people, can't, people can't stay upset with him. <laughs> just that charismatic. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> That's the character concept. <laughs> so canonically, yes, very, very good looking guy. Mm -hmm. His nose is somewhat similar to Shane's nose, but maybe more pointed. A bit longer. A stronger jawline, of course. That's the that's the side view. There we go. How common were angels in Shinzo's home country? Uh, not at all. Not at all. <laughs> there were like none. <laughs> I mean, like maybe a couple people were born with like really pale blue eyes every once in a while, but like n not really. Like they wouldn't even be able to use seal though, because nobody nobody knew how to do it. <laughs> yeah, just because you're born with blue eyes doesn't really mean. You, you can use seal, you, you kind of gotta, gotta go to school for it usually. Uh, some people figure it out, but most of the time they, they just don't, and don't really need to. <laughs> or like they, 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 maybe they'll learn like one or two things. A lot of them learn seal amplification to like age slower, <laughs> but that's usually the only thing they know. <laughs> Mm 
When Morbius dropped in and destroyed the jet, the entire theater erupted in cheers. And when he said get morbed after destroying the enemy airbase. Morbius himself directed, wrote, and started the film alongside Tonkers. <sighs> okay, what was it? Anybody- somebody said they wanted Ba? I can- I can- I can- <laughs> Somebody with- who likes gilfs wanted Ba? <laughs> who was- <laughs> I can- I can- I can do a little Ba, but he's- there you go. So what about Shinzo's mom as an angel? Yeah, I wonder how she ended up there, huh? I wonder. It's, it sure is a mystery, huh? <laughs> I wonder. <laughs> Will we ever find out? Stay tuned. Uh, for season two, <laughs> I guess. Oh, man. Man, if, if, I, if I don't end up getting okay for season two, it's going to be a huge bummer. <laughs> you guys will never find out anything. <laughs> so Bach has the uh, more downward turning eyes. Like the hexagonal ones. You know, the, the long hexagonal eyes where you erase two of the lines. <laughs> He has like eyelids that what, what do you want call it this type double eyes like hooded hooded double eyelids something like that so it's like anyways like a scaling triangle on top of his eye like that and yeah he has pretty thick and deep set eyebrows he's always angry a very angry man a very angry man the more pointed nose and to make him look old here's how you make a character old you add a line there for <laughs> I'm back. Add a line here for his cheekbones. And voila, he's old now. <laughs> you want more? You can you can add you can make the, the line below his lips curvy. And add a line here. There you go. He's old now. It's like magic. <laughs> Once you erase these lines, he 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 becomes like 20 years old. <laughs> Yeah, he has like a very a widow's peak very pulled back hairstyle he's got three streaks in his hair I'll, sh I'll show you later um his hair is pulled back all the way back swooped swooped past his hair all the way down to the bottom of his neck like that and his hair is gray colored Except for three white streaks, one in the middle of his head, one on one side, and one on the other side, and these white streaks will go down to the bottom of his hair. Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, I don't know, I don't know how tall he is, I didn't come up with a height, 180 something, I don't know, he's pretty tall though. Yeah. Mm. To give him a contrast with Serafina, he was he had to be pretty tall. And then yeah, he has a pretty prominent nose bridge. Pretty prominent nose bridge, very straight, very serious mouth. Like there's not much pouty poutiness going on. Almost, almost a straight line from his nose to his chin. Very straight, strong jawline. Very, very uh, serious man. Serious man. Mm -hmm. He reminds me of a skunk. Yes, yes. It's it's like skunk color. <laughs> A skunk isn't really hot, dear Pula. I mean, if you're on the internet, somebody somewhere has drawn it that way. <laughs> okay, okay, so 
yeah, that's it. That's that's it for all the characters that I've drawn and people have requested. Sorry, I just gotta turn on the light. It's it's getting dark in here. <laughs> um, yeah, that's everybody. Thank you all for coming. Uh, thank you all for joining me and for chatting and asking uh, mostly decent, mostly non non weird questions. <laughs> Okay, okay. Um, yeah? Uh, I'll see you... Actually, I don't know. I haven't, I haven't come up with next month's schedule yet. <laughs> what do you guys want to see? <laughs> yeah, yeah, what do you guys want to see more of? I'll, I'll take suggestions. This is, this is your chance to give me suggestions while I figure out next month's schedule. <laughs> And, and then and then and then I'll say bye for real. <laughs> um, I don't know what do I have? Oh, I have Honkai Star Rail. I got into the closed beta again. <laughs> uh, I think this this one I'm allowed to stream. I don't know, but I don't know if anyone even keeps up with me how your games these days. Um, I didn't show up in time for the no, no, no they weren't they weren't that weird. I don't think. They weren't that weird. They, I've had worse. I have worse. Doodles of the characters? Reveal the script? <laughs> no. No. No script reveals no. <laughs> um, I can I can do character doodles and stuff. We can do another sketch request. That, that always seems to go, go off well because people like to, like to request things. Uh, I guess we can continue the omake as well. That too. Uh... Yeah. Well, at least that's at least two, so I got two <laughs> And so in that case, I will see you next month for whatever whatever stream I decide to do. <laughs> no peeking, yes, no peeking. You guys gotta. <laughs> I will actively not watch because of the audio skates. <laughs> <laughs> Did Mihoyo, what did Mihoyo do to you? <laughs> ah, but their characters are so hot, though. <laughs> now, Star Rail has really good character designs, though. That's why, that's why I had to pick it. The character designs are so much, so much better than <laughs> Genshin. Sorry to say. <laughs> okay. Do modeling doodles. Oh, we can do that. Okay. Okay. Alright then, see you next time for whatever. Bye bye!